This section is working with the real number line. So when we're graphing real numbers, there are different um, terms that we are going to be seeing in this section here. Um, the first one is working with the origin, which zero is the origin. Notice the highlighting here. All numbers to the left of zero, which is the origin, represents negative numbers. And all numbers to the right of zero represent positive numbers. You'll also be looking at opposites in this section. Opposites are two points that are the same distance from zero, but on opposite sides of zero. And then we're going to be looking at absolute value in this section. Absolute value represents the distance from zero. So how many jumps does it take to get from zero, let's say, to five? That would be five. Or how many jumps does it take to get from zero to negative five? That would be five. Absolute value is always represented as a positive number. And when you're working with absolute value, you see the double bars right here? Those double bars represent absolute value. So you might even see something like this, the absolute value of two. How many jumps does it take to get from zero to two? Well, that's two, so my absolute value would be two right there. So let's look at some examples working with absolute value. Here for A, we have the absolute value of 2.3, so how many jumps does it take to get from zero to 2.3? That's going to be 2.3. For B, notice we have a negative 0 0.5, negative half in the absolute value signs. So how many jumps there? Well, it's going to be 0 0.5. Notice there's a negative in the absolute value signs, but it's going to give me a positive answer. C is a little different here because we have a negative outside of the absolute value symbols. So we have a negative and then negative 8 in the absolute value. So let's keep that negative outside of the absolute value sign. And this negative 8 then becomes 8. And that would be my answer because that negative outside of the absolute value sign. So it is positive 8, but then don't forget about that negative outside the the lines there for absolute value, and my answer would be negative 8. Example number 2, we're working with graphing numbers on a number line, and um, they're wanting us to graph half and negative 2.3, and then they want us to write two inequalities that compare the two numbers. So first, let's graph half on the number line, so that's going to be between 0 and 1, directly in the center between 0 and 1 and I can label this half. And then negative 2.3, that's going to be between negative 2 and negative 3. And negative 2.3, well negative 2.5 would be directly half, so negative 2.3 would be a little less than half. So I'll put a point right there. And I'll label this negative 2.3. But then, now they want us to write two inequalities that compare the two numbers. Well, half is greater than negative 2.3, so the way we would write that would be half is greater than negative 2.3. Or, another way we could write that is negative 2.3 is less than half. So this would be the inequalities. for the second part of that question. Last example in this section says write the following numbers in increased order, then graph the numbers on a number line. So we have here negative 2, 4, 0, 1.5, half, and negative 3 halves. Negative 3 halves, if we think of that as a decimal, that's going to be negative 1.5. So if we're writing this in increased order, the smallest number is going to be negative 2. So we use that. And if it helps you to cross off the numbers as you use them, go ahead and do that. The next number would be negative 3 halves. Then we're going to have 0. Then half then 
and 4. So that would be the numbers written in increased order. Now we have to graph these numbers on the number line. So here I'll graph it num negative 2. Negative 3 halves is negative 1 and a half. So I'll put my point directly in between negative 1 and negative 2 if I want to label it. Actually, I want you to label it. Then we have 0, half, 1.5, it's directly in between 1 and 2, and 4. So that would be the numbers written in increased order and the points graphed on the number line.